Hello fellow cultivators. This video we are going to talk about heavenly art in Tale of Immortal. So heavenly art is something you can only get after you reach transcendent, so it is a end game thing. And uh, there are quite a few different he heavenly art from mostly are coming from different kind of immortals. Well the first one basically you already get it once you reach transcendent. You basically get everything from that trail when you break through to reborn the transcendent. Everything else you need to go to different immortal shrines, interact with those immortals, finish their quests, and then you will get heavenly art. And some of them you actually need to for example this one you need to go to the broken outer in the Tianyuan village, near the Tianyuan village, finish some challenges there, then you will get the rest of them. And then there are also a few things left, for example, Shattered Outer, you, again, you need to finish Shattered Outer and you will get all these ones. And finishing so they are in Pagoda in the Shiyu region will give you one, which, which is pretty good. And finally, if you are progressing through Tianyuan Mountain, after you defeating the Hengtian on the mountain top, you, Zhang Zhang will come and give you Peace Heavenly Art. So that's everything about it. So to use Heavenly Art, first of all, you need to equip it. Okay, so you here, this is the button here. You need to, you can click, click on this button or press T to open this page. And then you need to equip some Heavenly Art. So the thing is, Heavenly Art, there are two types. One is active type, basically you, once you equip, you can use it. For example, this one, Jian is the main one. And also there are a few passive types. For example, under JE, there are a lot of different heavenly art. Nine of them, they are just passive ones, and they are only useful for JE's active heavenly art. Similarly, it goes for, you know, there's nine of them for heavenly martial ones, but then there are also other passive heavenly arts, mostly coming from those immortals, which only have one heavenly art. For example, this one, you, this can be combined with any kind of active heavenly art, and it will have this effect once you use the active ones. So if you do not equip anything and you get into the battle, then there is nothing going on. For example, you will just see here, Heavenly Arts shows Xianfa two words and the 30 here never increase. And this might confuse some people, why can't I use Heavenly Art? But yeah, it's because you haven't equipped it. Make sure that you equip it first. And then we will just go through quite a few different Heavenly Arts and we will probably first go through those different active ones. We will also talk about, you know, different passives what's their effect to them and also the thing is I am not very familiar with some of the passives so I will not show everything and I will just show you what from my experience what are the better ones and then we just give a comment about other passive ones oh I forgot something of course you might be thinking how many heavenly art can I equip well the thing is first of all each heavenly art will cost some power if you look at the green number below them that's how much essence heavenly power they cost and for example this one main one costs three so if we equip this you can put it anywhere it doesn't matter then you can see here is three slash 25 so maximum you can get is actually 26 except to you can get out of all those challenges and quests i think around 24 that normally people can get then there are a few more. One of them you need to go to the, the gambling shrine. So Shadow Slayer Shrine. And you, after gambling, if you get, if I remember correctly, if you get everything just all the same color by yourself, then you will get one heavenly power. And the other one is a if you challenge Nether Obscurity, so Xuemi in the Water God, there's very, very small chance you will get a special item from him and that will give you another heavenly power. So. Maximum 26, but most of my character is at 25. Some of them are actually at 24 because never got the chance to gambling that nicely. And then, of course, there's also a maximum how many art you can equip. In this case, it's six. Well, to be honest, because they cost so much power, most of the time, once you get four, five, six, it's all, you are already limited by the maximum power. So don't worry about this. Okay, that will be the introduction of the basics. Then we will just try to show different heavenly arts. So here we are actually going to show you how to use heavenly art with the most weird one, which is Zhang Zan's heavenly art. And it is very simple. Basically, it launches one attack. That's it. And uh, I only equip this one of them. Now, once you enter the battle, you see that this number is going up and it will go keep on going until it reaches 100. And that's when you can press down left shift and use it. So what you need to do, you wait until it goes 100 and you see it's shining the aura and you press down left shift button 
you have to press on for a few seconds and now it is ready as you can see there's something going on here now it's ready then you release it and yeah that giant thing falling down that is jumps on heavenly art it's very simple it deals a big chunk of damage 700,000 damage but that's basically it. this is how you use heavenly art and once you use it it will start to recharge again until it gets full and then you can use it again you might be wondering, what if I equipped two different active heavenly art? For example, in this case, I have Jansan's one, and then I have the default one, the one you get when you break through the transcendent and with all the four special passive for it. So in this case, the first time you use it, you will use the first heavenly art you equipped. And once you finish this one, the next time when you charge, you will switch to the second one. So let's first use it just to show you how it works. In this case, it's still Jansan's one, okay? It's the same thing we showed before. And now, once this is finished, now next time, you see it switch to this one. So next time it will be this one. So now before everything goes, again, let's talk about this one. So it drops 50 Dowry symbols attack random enemies. So it does not say how much damage it is, which is weird, <laughs> but it's not that high compared to this one because after all, this one is just one single attack and this is worth 50. So I guess if all 50 dollar symbols hitting one same enemy will be quite high damage, but that never happens. Now, out of the four passives, so one thing about this one is it after it finishes, it, it will act active this state called Immortal Path for 15 seconds. And this is actually quite good. So during your 15 seconds, first of all, your damage will increase 10%, that's okay. And if you have the first passive, Bless Sword, you will you are taking damage less than, you know, it's decreased by 30%, that is also good. And then there is also automatic damage every 3 seconds, ignore it. The second one's Spirit, uh, Spirit Blade, basically again, during the 15 seconds, there are 5 Dowry Symbols. Now, this will deal one another strike every time you used to cut special skills so this makes it really good if you have a build with very short cooldown for special skills and you know blade is especially good for it and now i want to emphasize something so you know that if you want to reach zero cooldown special skill even for blade there's one thing which is really annoying which is you need to get a special dao seed which gives you 10 percent cooldown for all skills but to swap dao seed is really long and a painful process so many people do not want to do it. So then one way you can do it is you equip this heavenly art because the third passive slash of justice allows you to have another uh, wait allows you to sorry silent <laughs> somehow in this case is fourth one the silent emptiness so allows you to decrease the cooldown for all skill by fifteen percent, which means even if previously you do not have zero cooldown. For example, in my in this character do not have the special Dao Seed. So when I use that here right now, you can see there's 0 0.3, 0 0.2 second of cooldown. So that's when you do not have special Dao Seed. But now if I use this once I enter the Immortal Path for 15 seconds, I can reach two zero cooldown special skill. And you will not see any cooldown thing on this icon. And then the last one, Flash of Justice, is just okay. Another power attack. So let's try to use this and notice that every time first I will enter zero two zero cooldown state, second you will see every time I use my special skill there will be an extra attack. Let's use this. So this is the 50 dollar thing. Okay? And then you see the five thing around me. Now I'm in two zero cooldown state. And just see how much notice my RMB never enters cooldown and also every time I use my RMB skill this giant lightning thing in the middle that is another effect basically it's an extra attack and you can see that it makes your PC lagging quite a lot of course that is true for every single zero cooldown special skill build but the effect of this makes it even worse and because it makes your PC lagging so it actually might decrease your DPS compared to what it should have been. So during all this time having zero cooldown special skills, so and now if you just look at this, 
my DPS is increased <laughs> without using this. It's probably because of all the special effects there. And for now, I'm again back to non-zero cooldown special skills. So, and now look at Heavenly Art. We are back to switch to the previous one. So that's how it works. So the the basic Heavenly Art, Metallic Iridance, quite good for any kind of nearly zero cooldown build because it allows you to enter zero cooldown. But then, if your computer is not good enough, it might not be a good idea. Before we showcase the next Heavenly Art, which is Jian Yi's, which is, I can directly tell you, the best one, because it has so many different passives, I cannot equip all of them into the battle. First of all, I only have 6 seconds. Ah, my. It's already taking 24 power. So this is kind of one of the setups I already use. So what does it do? It basically introduces a giant sword slash. It deals quite a lot of that enemy, damage to all enemies for 4 times, so that's 800,000 total, or more than John Sun's one. And more, more importantly, it has this special effect, so slash. It will cast enemies so away. Basically, after you see, you will see the enemy have kind of a purple shadow coming out that is so. And then once you defeat this so, this so will have 80% of maximum HP of this owner. Once, it, once you get rid of this so, it will deal the damage equal to its loss vitality. Basically, 80% of damage of maximum HP will be that much damage will be taken to the enemy. So main point is not only this is really good for any enemy with really huge HP bar because it's percentage damage, right? But also one good thing about this, this can temporarily break the damage limit from King Du Hua and uh, for example things like 50 Suan Yu. Because of course if it still have the damage limit, it won't take 80% of its HP as the damage will take you know, 2000 or 500. That is not going to work. And because of this, it's become the best heavenly art in the entire game. It allows you to one-shot 50 Suan Yu with Fire Fist, Hellbreaker Fist build, which is nowhere nobody else can do. One-shot 50 Suan Yu. With the help of this, and also if you are dealing with three mortals in the Shattered Outer Challenge, this is also something you really need to have to get rid of the King Wu Hua's thing. Now, it has all these passives. The first one, basically the first few are kind of simple and they are coming from purple. You can see they are just swords with different colors. The first one basically, once it will just deal equal damage to enemies, stun them for 5 seconds. This is stun. The second one, it will cut the soul apart and also make the souls unable to cast skills. This is actually quite important. I would recommend you to always get this. Because otherwise, the soul, when you cut it out, can also use a skill. That is not good if both of you, you basically have two enemies. And the thir th uh, third one basically lets the souls not be able to move. This is also good. And the fourth one basically make them into freeze. And then every time you, when you attack them, there are five percent chance to deal 140,000 damage to every unit inside. Again, quite a good one. And next one will slash again and deal a damage, increase damage for 100 percent to units that stunned, skill blocked, restricted, frozen, and combining ice rock. Basically, it will deal extra damage to any everyone who are affected by the special effects by the first few, you know, swords. So th the whole design makes you to use like this with the main art. And then if you have 26, then you, you can equip this purple one as well. But now I do not have insufficient one. <laughs> so you can see that basically each of them will deal a special effect to both the enemy and the soul. And then the red one will deal extra damage to them. So it deals a lot of damage. So this is one of the setup I usually get. Another setup you usually get is I get rid of this one. So the, the ice one, I, I sacrifice a little bit of damage, but I would rather the enemy cannot cast skill or cannot move. Then adding any kind of you know special passives from everywhere else. Now, after this, there is also one more one. For example, this one, this will deal damage and summon another orange sword. Every time the target cast skills, it will deal more damage. It's not that much. And also, I would rather the enemy not cast its skills. And then there are things more like this. Gain one additional sword slash. Okay. And But 
when no sword wheel is equipped. Basically, you cannot equip any of sword wheels, but then you will just add one more sword slash. Again, not worth it. Oh, by the way, from here and this, this three, you get it from Shattered Outer, not from the Jane's uh, uh, Immortal Quest. Then this one randomly unleashed, like. <laughs> and this one gain additional cells cut down. This still looks pretty okay, but it takes eight power. It's just again not really worth it in my opinion, unless I mean because you really want this and this, right? And in this case, you only add twenty-three. But uh, maybe, maybe this is okay. This is probably another way to use it. But again, let's just try to use it to let you see what's happening. So here I'm using the standard, you know, flame of frost with four sword wheel, and let's use it. Just notice that there is this soul of it in coming out, and so now it's dead. It deals a lot of damage, and now the main thing is frozen, and also limited to this, and also cannot cast skills. And it already took quite some damage from when when the soul was killed. So, yeah, this thing, the main use of this is really to break enemies, let's say, uh, damage limit, really useful in end game. And also, if you combine this thing with Meng Yi's out, which again deals percentage damage to the enemy, and this thing also deals percentage damage to the enemy, it just makes it quite good. And notice that this 80% maximum HP to damage back to the owner, this can be amplified by Fairy Flames. You know what I mean. If you ever, if you get all the fairy flames, everything was correct, you can one shot things, and that's one of the reasons why you can one shot fifty swan. Another reason is for heal breaker, you one time deals a lot of damage. That is actually more than eighty percent of its maximum HP. So the so when it disappears, you gonna take all the damage it has taken, which is more than eighty percent maximum HP, and then again amplified by the fairy flames back to the owner, and that is how you one-shot 50 swan you with this thing. Again, the fastest way to kill three immortals is actually getting a lot of fairy flames on the ground. You can use Fire Rider, you can use, you know, Phoenix Ultimate, with, if you're lucky, with Spirit Fusion four times, or even without those things, you're just using Fire Rider, getting a lot of the fairy flame on the ground. You can't use Fire Motion skill because King Luhua will steal it, that's why Fire Rider and Fire Phoenix. Then you switch on three blade field because that hundred percent of immediate hundred percent damage amplification. You summon your little not so you can't use this. You have to use gore. Summon your little mushroom man. Eat that big mushroom, which again do you give you three times damage boost. Then you use this thing and uh, yeah, with all the damage boost, the eight percent of maximum HP just become one hundred percent. You one shot the three three mortals King Lupa as well. And since we just talked about King Luhua, this is heavenly art from you get it from King Luhua. It's a bit funny one. So it's called Eggs from Above. It's weird because King Luhua, I'm fairly sure it's a male chicken, not a female one. But okay, so it's a rooster. <laughs> what does he do? It will drop a lot of golden eggs falling from the sky, deal damage, 100,000 damage. Wow, that's a lot. And also, many chickens will be flying through the battleground, lay 10 eggs, dealing more damage. And uh, the two passive, one of them, emerald egg, one, every time you use a skill, you can transform one to three eggs among them into green eggs. What does it actually do? I don't know. Maybe it try to heal you? Probably. And also ruby egg, every time you use a skill, you transform them into red eggs. And the red eggs will hatch a lot of chickens to attack the enemies. <laughs> so, I have, I've been using this one in my recent last play. Uh, you know, Hell of Immortal, that wood character, Joey, that works too, because this one will grab you a lot of chicken. So it's kind of okay for summon builds because it will grant you a lot of summons, but it's really confusing the Ruby Egg and Emerald Egg, what do they do? But anyways, let's try to take a look. Eggs from above. Yeah, you drop a lot of eggs and sink from ground. Let's use a steel. Is this Emerald Egg? Maybe. And uh, what about the red egg? I have no idea. But yeah, all the chickens will try to do damage to the enemy. They are not that efficient. Let's call it that way. 
but yeah, the, probably it can still boost you or summon numbers, you know, for summon build. If you have Mengi's talent and if you have wood uh, mastery, summon numbers equal to more damage for every single summon. So that's one good part. And look at how much damage it does with 5974. That's pathetic. Well, the next one is Sun Blocking Heavenly Mushroom. I have to admit, I am not familiar with this heavenly art at all. So, what does it do? It summons a giant mushroom from the sky. It's again almost like a joke, you know, King Du Hua and Mushroom. There are two joke heavenly arts. And deals a lot of damage, again, and spreads eight spores around. Those spores will grow into mushroom men. So, first of all, you can eat those mushrooms, will recover your HP. But also, it will generate a full screen foam ghost film. And it will summon the mushroom man every three seconds. Okay, so no, those spores are not transformed into a mushroom man. I was wrong. It's more like the. They will summon one mushroom man, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's. Uh, okay, that once it's finished, the mushroom man will become edible mushrooms. I guess again, if I eat them. So, the passives. Because there are 10 passives, that's why I have to show everything here. Most of the passives, for some reason, you actually only get it from Shattered Outer. I think they're just too lazy to design more quests for Heavenly Mushroom. So from the quest, you only get quite only like three or something like that. Yeah. So the second one, okay, every time spores go into mushroom, additional mushroom will be generated. Good. Freezing, burning, toxic. Oh, so basically you can eat different mushrooms, trigger different effects. Not very useful, but why not? And uh, dazzling. Again, okay, color screening, mushroom, size up mushroom, shrinking mushroom. Okay, those big and small ones. Problem is size up mushroom only 25% damage increase. That's not good enough. And finally, super mushroom, phantom mushroom, devouring mushroom. I guess they are just different uses. These three are basically make your eating those mushrooms around to make it even more effect. And you can increase the amount of mushrooms, provide fungus, okay, healing effects, or align you 25 attack. Are you joke? Is that again a joke? Again, increase duration, okay. Increase the duration of having active skills by 10 seconds, okay. This might be still useful, I guess. And unsettling, so. Edible mushroom no longer recover HP. Instead, it will make you a berserk. 10% attack and the mushroom increase. Nah. This is just not useful. Let's use this set and try to take a look. Well, you guys can already know it's more like a, a joke heavenly art, so I do not really recommend you to use it. And yeah, this is a giant mushroom falling down. And then this is the region where it generates much spores and also summons. You can see all these different mushrooms, you can eat them, which deals damage. You can see fire, you know, and ice and poison sometimes. And all those mushroom men will start to try to attack as well. Oh, ignore this thing. This is just my nether power. I was just trying to see if... Well, you can do see that I get a bit faster. And I guess all these mushroom men can do some damage. They do actually decent damage compared to the chickens. Sadly, I cannot eat the mushroom they get. I mean, if I could eat this big mushroom, it probably would be a bit more useful because hopefully that gives me three times damage increase. But no. I guess this actually might be a bit more useful compared to the chickens, so... Yeah, okay -ish. But still, it's more like a joke. The next one is Mu Qing's favorite, Mingxue. So, her heavenly art create a barrier wind to cut all enemies, and 80 times deals very small damage, and then deals total damage through explosion, okay? And then you enter the Music Immortal's power state for 15 seconds. It's similar to this, you know, Immortal Path state. And then during this state, then all this passive will be more useful. So, but first of all, during this state, when you're casting the ultimate, a clone of the Music Immortal will be summoned, and they will start to kick the enemy with high risk HP, and cooldown for the kick 15 seconds is like only kick once, and then it generates sound waves, blah blah blah, this and that. It just feels like, okay, there are a lot of different things talking about here, but none of them have good enough damage to make this thing actually useful. 
So let's put it here and check out the passives. So sound wave take effect, damage on next hit by 1%. 1%? Are, are you sure? This one, every time the wind barrier checks the enemy, the damage cut increases 10%. Okay. This one, damage how many other way increases 35% on slow the enemy. Mm -hmm. The cooldown for the kick will be doubled, but four a series of four kills issued upon triggering, okay? And no longer issues attack or sound waves. Instead, a clone will come to the battle to kick on the unit with highest HP. It just feel like, again, it's a very lazy design. It's not really that useful at all, but still, let's use the first all of them instead of this because this will no longer generate sound waves and I won't show you what is the sound wave. Again, this thing I have try to use it, it's not very useful, so, yeah. So, we will first use it and then use out to trigger the second effect. First one. There are some wind going on here, deals with damage. Okay, you can hardly see anything, and then we use our out. Now here we come. Minshi will come and kick the enemy. So, yeah, it does do some damage, I guess, and that's it. <laughs> the damage is not even higher than my fairy flames <laughs> coming from the ultimate. Just imagine that, really. The next one is Liju's Heavenly Art. So, what does it do? First of all, summon a huge spear, spear of light piercing from the sky. Deals some damage to all enemies. Not that much, and summon 8 arrays on the sky, each of them can launch 12 little spear fly, deal some damage. Again, not a lot. But, again, the main thing is you enter the state of Liju's fighting soul. Basically, you transform yourself into Liju. And then it will change all your skills. Your martial skill will change into piercing, okay? And special skill, change into throwing a javelin. Motion skill, ch change into rush to, a, to the javelin. Ultimate cast a huge fear of light from the sky. So, the whole thing about this is actually really weird. So, now look at the passive. First one, every time you martial skill, you hit enemy, you get 100% casting sphere light, deal with more damage, okay. This one, martial and transformation get 10% leech effect. Okay, that's good, you know. This, I guess this one is pretty good, even though you know, decrease your damage, that's not good. Now, third one, it's really weird one, it's actually make, it's a bug, let the direct tell you. So, here it says, huge spear cuts the ultimate, transformer will give you the 15 seconds, and then you get decrease of cooldown 15% of special skills. It might be, make you feel like, okay, does that mean that I can use the same thing to reach zero cooldown state? You know, with the 15% of this, Truth is, answer is yes, and not only that, there's the bug, this is the actual thing, it's not 15%, it's actually 15 seconds. It's literally a bug there, and they did not fix it for some reason. I guess there are some players who like to use this bug to do crazy things, and uh, you know how the devs are afraid of the players after the whole model issue, so they don't dare to fix any bug, which benefits the the players even though this is literally so stupid bug and completely breaking the game and should be fixed but no they won't fix it i can directly show you if i equip this thing and i'm not using the special skill which ha which can reach the cooldown instead i'm using something com sorry using something completely different like um, what about what about what about you girls war you know the girls war can never reach their cooldown but because it does not have the minus 4 seconds when there is only one enemy thing there. But yeah, with that thing you can. Mm, go back to Liju. Let's finish the last one. Okay, dealing more damage, that's fine. Another thing about Liju's thing is you can't, you can't even, you know, equip all of them. I just equip 4 of them, 2 of them, they are I'm already at 20. So I can't even equip the third one. <laughs> not talk about the 4, so yeah. Anyways, let's get into the battle, and let, I will let you see what's happening. So the bug is actually, so remember once you enter, use this thing, you will enter state, you become Liju. They, I will show a bit the changed martial skill, special skill, and so on. 
right now I'm like this, special skill is like this, and it enters 4 second cooldown, right? Motion skill this is, it's okay. But the thing is, once you use out, you're actually coming out of the state, and you can use your normal special skill normally. <laughs> and you get that bug. Anyways, let's use it now. Alright. A spear, a spear, and I become the Iguna. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Shoot. Hey. And this is my special skill, right? And now, I use my out, and now I got zero special skill. <laughs> During this thing. It is so dumb. It is so dumb. Because once I use my out, I turn from back to my original state, so my everything of my skill is back to normal. Until I came out of state now, it enters cooldown again. I think I've showed this in in my how to reach zero cooldown RMB skill, that video as well. I, and I said it is a bug. And yeah, this bug is still there. So with any type of special skill, which you, it can never reach zero cooldown normally, like summon ones, like you know, wood summon ones, you can use this, you can choose, you can choose to use this, which I do not recommend and myself never use, because I think it's, this is very stupid bug. You can use this thing into that state, use your ultimate, you come transform back, and then you got 15 seconds of zero cooldown special skill. You can summon everywhere with your flowers and everything. It's crazy, but yeah, it's a bug. The next one is Tunnel, and we are almost finishing the, the active one, which is good, because I do not want this video to be too long. And this one, Kung, so it's a bit strange again. So basically what I did do is deal damage again, and then again enter to make you into a special state. I think you can already see this one, special state, special state, special state, special state for 15 seconds. And in this special state, every time you use a special skill, Tunnel will help you and do damage to the enemy. And also, it will generate a gravity array. It says cooldown 3 seconds, okay? However, if you put the this one, so passives, there's no cooldown. So, again, this one during the cooldown, during the duration array, there are stone falling and deals a lot of damage. Or, there is this one. So, the thing about this thing, all the four passives are conflicting to each other. So basically, if you are equip one of them, and you can equip either four of them, but not all of them, because they conflict. It directly says it, for example here, this one tells you the array, during the array there are stones falling from the sky, so you need to have the array, okay, the gravity array. Now, this extermination says, okay, there's no longer array, instead a black hole will be generated, and it will do damage. We feel like, okay, and then this one, Tunnel will not assist in attacking, so basically you, there won't be even a ray generated because they are coming from Tunnel's attack. Instead of Dowry symbols will do damage, okay, okay. And finally, this one, a ray no longer explode, explode but crashes all units. So, they are conflict to each other. So, in this case, I will only show the first one because there's not really much point, because they are not that useful. To be honest, second one, maybe, I maybe show the second one, but anyways, the point is, this can be really good with zero cooldown special skills, again, because every time you use a skill, Tongue will help to attack, and that's why it's useful. So, in this case, we, I mean, we are, again, as I said, this character do not have the special down mind, so it's not true zero cooldown, but, yeah, it should be good enough. Let's go. So actually, this heavenly art has suffered from the same problem as the, the metallic ingredients one, because it has a lot of special effects. It might drag your computer slow and actually makes the damage even lower than it should be. But yeah, two fists come to each other, and now I use my this. Every time I use my special skills, you can see that Tunnel is helping me, and there are rocks coming from falling from the top. The damage is pretty good. It's quite decent. Again, but I am not too zero cooldown, as you can see there are 0.2 seconds of cooldown there. So that's why my computer can still take it. <laughs> but, okay, now, right once it's finished, okay, it's finished, right? So now I might use my special skill, there's nothing coming with me. But it, if I am actually at zero cooldown, it again will become so laggy that it will actually drag in the performance and, and my DPS will drop. So, 
only use it if you have a good PC. Um, think about it, I think it has been quite long, so I won't show the others, but yeah, it's kind of a similar thing. Basically, you change the falling rock effect into black, black hole, whatever it is. But they again suffer from the same thing. If you have a true zero cooldown, it makes it dragging, lagging. But yeah, it does give you more damage. It's good. The only difference is, like this one, because not only it, it will bring more damage to the enemy when you cast special skill, but it also can make you into a true zero cooldown special skill state because of this cooldown reduction. And this is legit, not a bug, okay? This is a legit one, unlike a certain one here. Now, Taolong's case, it will only make your RMB stronger, but won't make you into a true zero cooldown state. So that's the difference there. But anyway, that's everything else. Now we can t finally talking about those general passes. The first one, Ji Gu Hun. This is probably the best general one, because it gives you infinite doji effect for six seconds after casting Heavenly Art. So already, when you when the Heavenly Art is going, the animation is going on. So first of all, when you press down the thing, you have the few seconds. During that time, you still can take damage. And, but during the Heavenly Art animation time, you won't take much damage, and you can use that to kind of you know, dodge some uh, boss attack. But this will allow you to have another 6 seconds of infinite dodge after casting Heavenly Art. This is really good for survival. This is one of the reasons why many times I will choose, for example, a standard Jin E set, right? Where I take this, this, and then I'm already at 15. Then I will, instead of tooking everything else, I might just consider putting in some passive one. For example, Shadow, this one, Shadow Escape. Now I can add more if I want to, but yeah, this one is one of the best ones, I would say. Now, Liang Qi's one looks very good. Basically, it increases circulation speed in every attack by 5%. I first thought this means that every time you do attack, it will, the circulation speed will increase 5 but uh, it's not what I thought it is. It basically has not much effect, so don't use it. Now, Shuang Shuang's one, when you're casting the Heavenly Art ends, a circle will explode, deals 50,000, and slow them by 5%. Ignorable. <laughs> Literally, you can ignore it. Feng Ling Nan's, okay, when you Heavenly Art deals damage, you will gain additional cooldown reduction for skills that actually have the highest cooldown remaining, which is not that bad. Normally, this means you're ultimate, of course, right? And so, I guess this can be pretty good if you are, again, if you can do a lot of times of damage during that Heavenly Art state, and your Heavenly Art needs to be deal damage all the time. So, this can be good, but in general, I don't really use. Then the Jones one definitely not use it because increased circulation time 5% and inc increased damage 3% like what is this? It's just a waste of 4 powers. Now for Yao Ji, this allows you to get 2 additional heavenly arts which is in theory not that bad but first of all just look at how much power it takes. 9! Nine, 9 power! Like even if I get rid of all of this and equip this thing I can equip even more, but I'm already at 20 slash 25. Where do I get more heavenly power to equip those things? This is just... They really should get this 9 to 0, and that's the only way you make this thing useful. Because even without this, even with 0, when I add it in, I'm already taking one of the slots and then add two slots. It basically allows me to add one more slot. But as I mentioned before, even with, with current 6 slots, most of the time, before I can equip everything, I'm already at the limit. And you make this thing at 9 power? I don't know what the designer was thinking. Now, Sumo Bai. If the passive is no more than 2 damage, increase 4%, no. not Definitely not use this. Like most of the things, as you can see, I'm using it because of the passive. <laughs> like this thing, I'm using it because of this cooldown reduction. And, uh, you know, Li Zhu, if you are using the bug, it's because of this. And Tang you really want this suppression to help you to do damage. 
I mean, yeah, maybe useful for Tang Long because that's only one of them. I guess that is only useful thing. But again, 4%. Uh, sometimes you feel like it's the devs not using their brain. Let's continue to the next one, Li Hanshan. And uh, if the amount of equipped heavenly are equipped, which is 6, the circulation time will decrease 3%. <sighs> Okay, sometimes you feel like, I mean, from the previous one, all of those make you feel like, do they forgot to write one zero when they're talking about reduce time or increase power? But yeah, Lu Linxi, every time you cast ultimate, you gain 2% of progress. <laughs> As if my ultimate, the cooldown is like one second, and that will make it, you know, during. 20%, 50% of circulation progress. As if. And the goose, every time you deal damage with Heavenly Art, you gain additional 10 attack increase. Yes, 10 attack. Remind you that Heavenly Art can only, is only available when you are at Transcendent. When you should have, not maybe not 17, but at, you know, 13, 15k. And yeah, 10 attack. Very good. Stack, stackable. Maximum 60 layers. So 600 attack. Congratulations. Now, Shattered Outer. There are actually quite a few. One of them, every time summon a unit, the damage will increase 5%. Mm, you know, this might be useful because it's maximum 10 stacks. So it's like 50% of heavenly art damage increase, not all your damage increase. So, I mean, most of heavenly art, I use it not because of damage, I use it because of effects. So, useful, maybe. This one, gain 5% damage reduction. I'm not going to talk about it. Then, when the remaining power less than, not less than 5, you will gain 2 every 5 seconds. Yeah, yeah, sure. And it itself takes 7 points. So, adding this sheet, I'm already at 18 without anything. Because I need to be less than 20, right? <laughs> Get out of there. And, okay, when the current power point consumed are even numbers, can be divided by 2. Every time deal damage special skills, you get this. This is actually not that bad. This is actually not that bad. But notice that you need to equip this one as well, okay? Which adds 3 points. So, notice, look at how many power. For example, right now it's 14. It's even number. And if, if I have a, a zero Kunon special skill build, I can use how many power pretty fast. So I guess this one can be useful, for example, because as I mentioned before, if you are not having a special Dao Seed, you might need your Immortal Path during this state to use it, right? And in this case, for example now, with this, I'm at 16, so I am at even numbers. And when I use Heavenly Art, I enter, I enter zero cooldown special skill state, and every time I use special skills, I get two circulation process. Which is not that bad, but I guess this will... No, I realized something, because during that heavenly art time, there's no circulation progress. Well, I guess it's still okay, because my cooldown special is 0.2 seconds, right? So, I guess this is good. Let me just test it. Let's try out with this one. Right now it's increased like this, right? If I deal with this, does it increase faster? Uh, maybe not. I don't really see it increasing faster. Or maybe yes. It's really hard to see. But the main thing I want to see is during the heavenly art, where it makes it immediately go to 100. Because right now I should have a zero cooldown state, right? And uh, no. As you can see, it's not really that useful. <laughs> okay, now I guess we can directly say that, yeah, it's also not that useful. So yeah, this one seemed to be not really useful. To be honest, I don't even know if it's actually working at all. It's so hard to notice that 2% circulation progress. That's the thing. I don't see, I thought it will increase too, you know, every time I use my special skills, but I don't see that. It might be actually your circulation progress is increased 2% from its 
current speed that basically means negligible i guess maybe it's like that now the next one mm, damage deals okay it's increase your having our damage not useful and this one is a special one basically if you want to use your heavenly art don't use this unless you do not want to use your heavenly art at all then you can equip this because what does this do is basically every time you cast in your ultimate you consume all the current circulation right and then every 10 percent will increase 10 percent damage for 10 seconds so if you have 100 percent heavenly art circulation you use the ultimate you get 100 percent damage ampli amplifier and uh, yeah that's it basically if you do not want to use your heavenly art you can equip this which is a weird choice in my opinion and then we got this one from soul devouring pagoda this is the last one of the or the passive one, but it is a very good one. Instant recover 40% enemy after casting Kevin Yards. Yeah, it is a really, really good one. So, again, if I'm using some kind of combination, you the two passive ones I will use one is Jigu Huanxis. Why is this if I am not using a blood energy build? Because, of course, for blood energy, this will be bad, but for everything else, 40% of energy recovery is really good. The only time I think this is not useful, one, you're using blood energy, you don't want you do not want any MP. Two, you already have Goten, so which means you already have infinite MP. But otherwise, sometimes I feel just use nine points for this and something like Jane is main thing, and then I'm left with eight points, so which means usually I will take this one and this one. So this is another one of my normal use this thing if I'm using a standard build with MP. Otherwise, I can get rid of this. Sometimes I get rid of this, adding one more slash. Sometimes I get rid of this, adding one more slash, because especially if I'm using a build which I know I'm really safe. Like you already have infinite dodge from the dragon, or you, you're using a sword build with, you know, sky for sword out, which means you are invisible all the time. Or if you're using a wind build, or even earth tanky build, then I don't need this. But yeah, normally GAE is the best, that's it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.